So I've been doing a lot of digging in regards to this statue right here. First I thought it was like a wand of sorts, but then I see it's got these two closed eyes. So it made me think that this was a living being that the statue was portraying. Up until this point I thought it was a unicorn. Until yesterday when I was doing research on Rue, and this shot right here where it portrays good and evil, it has that same eye. That same closed eye with the eyelashes as a statue. And this made me think, is this another angel? Now if it is, I have two guesses as to who that is. The first being the Archangel Salafiel. Now it doesn't look like it in this picture, but they're most times depicted praying with downcast eyes. My other guess for an angel, I have no idea how to say this, so I'm just gonna say Anna Neil. I think this angel is highly suspect due to its name being translated to Reign of God or Cloud of God. And what the fuck is this thing right here? It's a cloud. No, I have another theory and it has little to do with angels, or at least not the ones that are born in heaven. A while back I made a video on Carmela about her being the Virgin Mary. I can send some links if anybody asks them on TikTok or if you watch this on YouTube, I can just do the thing. But to catch you up, both the names Carmilla and Carmine, they both come from the word Carmel, which is a mountain in Israel. And the Catholic Church, they named Mary Our Lady of Mount Carmel. Of course, there's more things to Carmilla being Mary, but I only have so much time here. So anyway, if this thing here below the angel is not also an angel, then maybe it really is a unicorn. And that unicorn could represent Jesus. I say this because there's a painting of the Virgin Mary with a unicorn sitting in her lap. That unicorn representing Christ and purity. I know Bibsy Pop said like, it's highly unlikely there'll be any more biblical figures or at least not any major ones or controversial ones, but it's an interesting theory. I know this thing having eyelashes doesn't mean anything, but can you imagine how pissed people would be if Jesus was a woman?